What's up everybody? So today is kind of, I don't want to say it's a special day, but it's definitely a different day. Um, I've decided to do something that I thought I was going to do later on, but um, I just, maybe it's impatientness, I don't know. I thought about it for so long and I've been thinking about it for so long, but I've decided to finally do it. Uh, I'm going to go buy a PlayStation 4 today. Um, it's something that yeah, I mean, I thought about the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4, but for an extra $100, you know, I'll get the Xbox One down the road. As of right now, MLB The Show 14 comes out in like two weeks for the PlayStation 4. I'm going to go get the PlayStation 4 and NBA 2K14, which just looks phenomenally amazing. Um, so I'm going to go get those, and I'm going to play them, but... I can't start recording on the PlayStation 4 right away because of uh, the PlayStation 4 is encrypted. There's a special cable that you need to get to be able for the Elgato to be able to record it. So I'm going to have to order that from Amazon or eBay or something. So that's going to take a couple days. So it's not going to be instantly PlayStation 4 footage, but I do want to get it out pretty quick. And if I do get anything out, it's going to be NBA and because that's going to be the only game I'm going to have. And eventually when the show comes out, It'll be the show with Jeff commentating, and uh, yeah, I can't wait. So I'm pretty excited. I'm gonna go pick that up right after this, uh, and then when I come back, an update on my packages. I know I said that th this vlog would be full of me opening packages. I'm not gonna unbox the PS4. You know what's inside of it. It's a PS4. Um, but uh, I said I was gonna do packaging, and uh, sorry if that's making a banging noise. It's the holder for the whatever. Anyway, um, yeah, so I said I was going to be open, opening packages, but one package doesn't have a tracking number. It says anywhere from the 21st to the 25th, and today is the 24th. It's Thursday. Um, it could get here tomorrow, but the guy said he didn't ship it till the 22nd, and it's coming from Illinois, and it has no tracking. So who knows where that's at? Uh, <laughs> I also have um, another package that was supposed to get here yesterday that isn't here, and the tracking was last updated leaving New Jersey. No idea where it's at, left New Jersey, and disappeared into the vacuum of space. So who knows when that's going to get here. Um, yeah, I'm waiting on those two packages. I have one that I'll probably open when I get back. It's right here. It's this massive package right there. So I'll, I'll open this one, I'll open that one when I get back. Um, I'll show you my PS4 when I, you know, open it up and everything. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna stop blabbing. I'm gonna go buy a PS4 and I will be right back. Just got back from Best Buy. PS4 right over there from a game. Not gonna get into that, that's for later. Uh, but what I'm gonna get into is this massive box on my not made bed. So, I'm gonna open this up and I will, uh, Going back with you guys in a minute to show you what it is. All right, so here it is. It is a front lip for my Miata. I, uh, I've been wanting one of these for a while, and the reason being is the front of the Miata, the, the front bumper, it ends, it just seems like it just gets cut off, like they just sliced it. And uh, when the car's lowered, I've seen a lot of lowered Miatas that don't have this front lip on it, or don't have any front lip, not specifically this one. And uh, I don't know, it just doesn't doesn't look right. It looks so much better with the bumper actually, you know, have some sort of design to it. And uh, I saw on websites they were selling these for 200 and up, and I was like, yep, nope, not gonna do that. Not gonna spend $200 on that. So I um, went on to eBay. And I found that one for 55 bucks, and I was like, yep. <laughs> so it's primer, I believe. It's uh, probably just, you know, plasticky, whatever. But um, yeah, it's going to, uh, the reason why I'm getting this now is because I want, I'm gonna paint my car. I'm gonna paint my car the same color, and a lot of you are like, oh, paint your car this color. I'm not changing the color. My Miata is an M edition, and for those of you that don't know, it only made 3,500 M editions in 95, which my car is 95. So there's only 3,500 and they made them in that specific color. That's an M edition color. So I'm not gonna change it. <laughs> That's like changing a collector edition car. You don't change it. I'm gonna get it the same color. 
but I want to get some accessory and trim pieces, this, that being one of them. Uh, so that way when I do paint it, I'm going to paint all of them so that way it looks factory and it looks good and it's not like, hey, that's a black spoiler on the back of that car or, you know, that's a different colored fender or whatever. So, yeah. Anyway, that's what's in the box. Now I can get rid of that massive box. Now I can open my PS4. Now I can play M NBA. I was going to say MLB. I wish. I'll get that on the 6th when it comes out. But yeah. So um, I will definitely vlog when my other packages come, if they come before Monday. Hopefully they will. If not, I'll be messaging some eBay sellers. So uh, yeah, anyway, I will catch up with you guys later. See ya. What's up, everybody? So it's kind of a late night right now when I'm vlogging, and uh, there's a reason for that. It's because I want to show you guys the, uh, the lights that I got. Like I mentioned, you know, a little while back, actually in last week's vlog you know I, I ordered these special led colored bulbs and everything and i got them in a little while back i was waiting for the adapters to come in there's one more package i'm waiting to come in and it's not going to be delivered tomorrow or technically no tomorrow because it's saturday night um it's not going to be delivered on sunday uh so i don't know when i'm going to get that most likely that'll be in the next vlog but as you see as you've seen i've unpacked the uh the front lip for my Miata. So I'm still waiting on one more package. They're messing around at the post office, so who knows when I'll get it. Hopefully it'll be sometime this week. But yeah, I wanted to wait till night because I wanted you guys to get the full effect. I really apologize. You guys are gonna hear my PC in the background. I'm currently doing a lot of things. <laughs> I was gonna say a lot of shit on my computer, but I'm working on my computer and uh, it needs to be going. So I do apologize if you hear that. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, let me just go ahead and turn you around. As you can see, I have one light over here, second light over here, and I'm using this just table lamp over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off and I'll turn these lights on and I'll show you guys uh, the, the cool effect. So let me, it might get dark, so I do apologize for that. Let me go ahead and just do that. Ooh, dark, dark time. Let me go ahead and uh, turn this one on. Boop, boop, and let's turn, oh, this one turned on too. Well, that works. And let's go ahead and back it up. So, these are my new night lighting. So, the reason I decided to get these was, you know, at night when I'm sitting here and I'm editing a video or I'm recording or something, you know, having a normal light on, I was just getting so tired of it. I was getting so bored of the normal lights and everything, and, um, you know, I decided, I want to do something different, and uh, I want to I want to try something new. And uh, I saw these, like I said, the the actual light stands themselves were twenty bucks. Uh, the bulb for about eight dollars bulb, uh, eight to nine dollars depending. Um, and uh, the adapters were literally a dollar a piece. So altogether, each lamp was forty bucks. Not bad. So currently, I have them on red and blue. Um, I actually it's just controlled by this remote right here. Hopefully it'll focus. Maybe if I go over here. Mm, nope, not wanting to focus. So great. Uh, <laughs> but pretty much on this remote is all my colors. I can dim as well. Let's go over here and it's, oh, that's too bright. I want to dim it. There we go. Or if I want to brighten it back up. Oh, that's awesome. Um, I can also turn it off, as you can tell, as you've seen. Uh, now, uh, you know what, I'm getting a little tired of red. What about green? How about green? Green seems cool. Oh, blue? Oh, I'm getting kind of tired of blue. How about, uh, let's do yellow. Why not? Why not yellow? Maybe some, uh, that's actually Oakland A's colors right there. That's pretty cool. Um, also, if I ever get really tired of it, boom. Hey, let's just throw some white on there. Hey, why, why the hell not? Light it up. So, let's go back to, oh, but you know what? Oh, the random, the, 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 the blue, it's kind of missing something, so why not do the bottom one uh, red? Why not? Let's do half red and blue. Oh, well now this one's too bright. Well, you know, the, the A's are playing, so let's do some, uh, boom. Red and green. Red and blue. How about that? We can do whatever. Uh, <laughs> or, if we really wanted to, we can do this. Hey, why not just have them randomly go through the colors? That one, that, that mode is kind of uh, distracting. But uh, there's there also is a mode, it's called Fade. 
And this is actually a mode that I set on every once in a while. It's actually pretty cool. So they will go ahead and they'll transition slowly through, or kind of a faster pace. There's actually a slower mode in this, but they will go ahead and they'll transfer through uh, all the different colors, which is uh, actually quite cool. So there's 16 different colors, all the color spectrum on this. So uh, as you can tell, all the colors up and down, white, there's the modes. It's actually really, really cool. I've really been enjoying it. It's great to, you know, sit here and, and edit by uh, colored light instead of the boring old table light. So, uh, yeah. So that's enough about lights for, for, uh, for today. Let's go ahead and I'm going to show you guys. This isn't really a spoiler because uh, you guys will see the episode. So I'm currently encoding out. Let me put this remote down real quick. All right, so I'm currently encoding out, uh, not encoding, I'm rendering all this footage. This is for the uh, 100th episode of GTA Online. And uh, as you can see, face cam, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm trying to get it all set up. And the reason why I'm encoding it all is if you can see, let's see if it's gonna focus. So we have, this is game footage, my webcam, Zach's webcam, or Jeff, yeah, Zach's webcam, Jeff's. Then we have all their audio down here. We have a music track below there. So it's literally, this is the most tracks I've ever had on one <laughs> encoding, one uh, editing session. So it's quite insane. Uh, as you can see, we have all the audio tracks up there at the top, everything that we need. It's, uh, it's gonna be a massive, massive project to uh, do what I'm attempting to do, which is pretty much get everyone's webcam synced up and everything and I've already kind of synced it but the problem is uh, with with the program that we use to record our webcams it's a Logitech webcam recording software every once in a while the webcams will tend to go out of sync which is quite unfortunate um, it happens there's nothing I can really do about it something lit up I thought it was changing color but anyway uh, yeah it happens and there's nothing I can really do about it but I'll just try to keep them in sync and uh, I will try to also my Elgato has been kind of kind of weird lately I've noticed like uh, games have been uh, kind of going out of sync every once in a while so that's a little that's a little weird I don't know what's going on there so I got to get the game in sync after it kind of goes out of sync after a little while I got to get everybody's mic in sync and make sure that it matches up to what they're saying uh, so it's going to be quite the process um, also, to give you guys a little update with the PlayStation 4, I am absolutely loving it. Love the PlayStation 4. It is the best in investment that I could have made. Um, absolutely enjoying it. Absolutely enjoying uh, NBA 2K14, which is the only game I have for it right now. The show comes out on the 6th. And uh, some of you are asking, when are we, we going to see PS4 footage? Um, I would like to do PS4 footage uh, soon. I would like to do PS4 footage, um, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say May, starting in May, you guys will see uh, PS4 footage. Uh, the reason being is Sony has an encrypted HDMI signal, which uh, if I plug it HDMI into my Elgato, which is how I record my Xbox and everything, uh, it's just not gonna work. It's not gonna work, it's not gonna show up. Um, but on the 30th of April, uh, Sony is releasing an update to remove that feature. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and order a splitter anyway, so that way I can split the HDMI signal. One will go to my Elgato, one will go to my, mo my monitor, because for those of you that don't know, what you guys see in GTA is not what I see in GTA. The GTA that I see that's going through the Elgato is washed out, and it's the, the Elgato does a lot of compression and everything to it. So. It's, uh, it's going to be nice to be able to see the raw footage, and the Elgato will see the raw footage as well, and I don't have to see the pass-through of the Elgato. So, I'm going to go ahead and order that, give that a couple days to ship in. So, yeah, I'm going to say beginning of May, you guys will start to see PS4 footage. Uh, we're excited to do the show as well on the 6th when it comes out, so... Yeah, you got a lot going on. So, um, I'm going to let this finish rendering out wanted to show you guys the lights. I will show you guys next week the package that didn't come this week, which is unfortunate, but uh, I figured this vlog is a lot more interesting than the other ones. <laughs> so um, yeah, I will uh, keep you guys updated about what's going on. And um, yeah, see you guys next week. Bye.